So making her way to the ring, Therese Gunnison. Swedish fighter, 12 years experience, boxing, kickboxing and Thai boxing background, 85, 85 plus full contact fights. Fought about a month ago in Sweden, lost on points to Josephine Lingard. Has fought in Mambalo before her opponent tonight. He's a world champion in kickboxing, won that in 2011 in Macedonia. Now she wants to complete the set and become a Muay Thai Grand Prix world champion. The belt is up for grabs tonight. Will she have what it takes? And now, please welcome to the red corner from Melton Mowbray, Iman Balo. Uh, one of the highest rated fighters in the world in this weight division. Iman Balo returns for her second outing at the Muay Thai Grand Prix. And this is a rescheduled bout against the tough Swede, Therese Gunnison. And as you say, Dave, the inaugural Muay Thai Grand Prix World Women's Bantamweight title is on the line. And what a prospect Iman Barlow has been, and she's already turning into a terrific fighter, multiple titles at world level already to her name, across different disciplines. She's cutting a confident figure as she walks to the ring. What a response from this crowd as well. It certainly is. I think she had her first fight when she was about eight years old in Thailand. Been fighting under her dad, her dad's gym, Assassins. As you know, her and her brother, her brother there in her corner. Superb level fighters, just in the blood. They live for training. as we mentioned it was her brother Ty Barlow who scored a win over Luciana Mendola who has just scored a victory over Evan Jays so tells you all about the family pedigree of the Barlows nice little uh, remembrance thing R.I.P. Jordan uh, the late Jordan Cove sadly a young man who died recently in Thailand Scott Scottish lad Jordan Decalong Cove And ladies and gentlemen, this full Muay Thai rules bout will be contested for the minus 53.5 kilogram Muay Thai Grand Prix world title over five three minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, she comes from Sweden. Please welcome Therese the Gun Gunnarsson. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, she's representing Assassin's Gym in Melton Mowbray. It's the pretty killer, Iman Bolo! So the inaugural Muay Thai Grand Prix women's world title at 53 kilos. Final preparations complete and both the women being brought to the center of the ring for their final instructions. Iman having a little bit of height there, advantage. This is the penultimate contest of a 20 fight card here at the O2. This is for the vacant ladies' world title. Oh, wasting no time. It's getting to know each other. Therese Gunnison, as we mentioned, has got that boxing, kickboxing background as well. World champion in that discipline. Be interesting to see how that style plays out here. Because Iman is a very strong Muay Thai girl. Very strong in the clinch, big knees and big kicks. She's 
more well, uh, going to be more well versed with the elbows. It's full tie rules here. Knees and elbows allowed to the face. As you see Barlow slamming those knees in to Gunnison. Stop on sit break. Let go. Zaman just lets our hands go here. Break. Let go. Time. Scissors. Referee just going to uh, cut that excess tape off so it doesn't cause any issues. Stepping in with that left elbow is Barlow. In the early stages of this fight. Just talk us through what we're seeing in the clinch here, Dave. Yeah, Gunnison doing a good job at pushing the man's head back there, not allowing her to get that balance right. Sometimes pushing someone's head back just pushes them off balance, pushes their weight onto one leg and you can throw them. But Iman is immensely strong. Look at those kicks. Wow, teeth to the head there, just snap the head back of Gunnison. She just imposes herself on her opponents. Right there, look, pushing the head, not really having any effect in Iman. Still pushing her weight down onto her opponent. Oof, stick jab again, and Gunnison felt that. Comes forward a little bit out of range with her own shots. Now into the clinch again. Marlow scoring with the knees. Neman getting a nice strong position there. Firing those knees in. Unanswered at the moment. Gunnison trying to get her leg up in the way to block, but to no avail. So Gunnison back to the ropes. It's been a pretty fast-paced opening round, this. Not a lot of feeling out process, just straight to the action. Four yeah. more three-minute rounds to go here, and there's the 10-second clapper, so... The bell for the end of round one is imminent. And there it is. And Barlow's round for you, Dave. Yeah, for me, she did dominate that in the clinch. Like, like I say, in Muay Thai, it's 10-10 normally, unless someone really pushes it. So. Seconds out. Box is ready. Go Let's go. 10 seconds. Round two. Box. So away we go. Round number two. At the Indigo 0 2. And Barlow again has started fast. Yeah, Therese coming out hard there at the start of that round, though. But Iman beat, uh, met her head on. Iman likes that style. She likes to come, uh, come out banging. Good knees there. See how she turns the hip and turns the point of the knee in. It's just so powerful, Barlow. and just using that forearm in the clinch. Carlo oh, no, just jabbing and then teeping. Yeah, but she throws a whole body weight on that jab and the same with the teep. You see uh, Gunnison's face wearing the marks of those shots already and we're only in round two. 
absolutely. She's just controlling her opponent, isn't she? Just moving her around the ring with those shots. Now holding her to account in the clinch too. Opening up the rib cage there, pushing the arm up, turning her, turning knee there, good score. But that's saying down the middle, oh, lovely knee and kick there. Oh, wow, that was serious power with a low kick there, just took the legs of Gunnison away. now cutting off the ring, the high kick gets through. Again, just turns her into the corner, to knee. Gunnison looking to block. Not quite, mate. Just trying to turn her to. She's definitely transitioned to Muay Thai well. She said she was a kickboxing champion, but she's doing well in the clinch against a very strong girl. So you've got to give her credit where credit's due. Man is just immensely strong. Now well, Goodison said she likes to box. She's more used to using the hands. Barlow, of course, as we know, is proficient with the legs too. So stylistically, this always has the makings of something interesting. And really, it's just about strength and will of imposition present as Barlow goes back to her corner. Looking at the replay through the last round. That was that knee kick combination. She ran in, popped the knee right on the rib cage, and then as she moved out, big body kick to finish. Again, just the strength to push her opponent back. How relaxed and composed she is, sat in the corner there. Another day at the office for her. She's been doing it since she was eight years old. Second to eight. turn there of the hip to make sure the point of the knee lands on the rib cage maximize damage the two exchange jabs Gunnison moving to her left hand side takes a kick to the right side of the ribs and again and a third time Great they're gonna start kick. to take their toll Now Barley pulling her into the clinch. And that strength. Well, isn't it just really, really strong? Just physically imposing herself on her opponent. Great body kick. You hear the thud that they go in with as well. Absolutely. Oof, just missed with the elbow there. And now Barley's just looking for that elbow through the middle of the gap. For the guard of Gunnison into the clinch again and just as she goes to knee Amon just muscling her over there terrific shot selection She just imposes herself, comes forward. Again, knee, knee, score and throw. And you consider Dave, as we've mentioned, she's in there with a kickboxing world champion from 2011. It's no mean feat and there's certainly no pushover. Therese Gunnison, in fact, anything but 
but at times in there, Barlow just looking in complete control. See that, just moves her forearm in, uses her forearm to lift the left arm of Gunnarsson, so she's got room to push the knee up. Subtle little things like that, creating the space so you don't need someone's elbow, you need a gap. There you go, look. There Powerful, it was. muscling yeah. her down. Look at those shots. As we go into the last few seconds here of round three. Well, all of this work will just be inevitably taking its toll Good as we get down to the business part of proceedings here in this world title contest. And Barlow is really taking this one by the scruff of the neck. Still game, still firing back, but just coming off second best in so many of these exchanges. Barlow's precision, power and shot selection proving to be the difference and certainly her dominance in the clinch too, which I think we suspected, Dave, has, has come as no surprise to either of us. Yeah, I mean, no disrespect to Gunnarsson because she, as you said, she's a world champion in her own right in kickboxing, but Tonight, it just feels like she doesn't have an answer for Iman Barlow. And uh, Barlow just has an answer for everything Second that time. she throws. And she's just Second imposing time. herself. Almost feels more like a matter of time uh, and just a process as opposed to a competition here. No disrespect, men, as I said. Break time. <laughs> no, not at all. I think we're. Looking at a really special talent here in Imam Barlow. The Awakenings fighter rankings had her for a number of years as one of their hottest ranked prospects. And really, she's, with each month and year that's gone by, fulfilled that promise. And the reasons are in evidence for all to see here. She will take some stopping. Again, just moves her shoulders down, creates that gap. Popping the right arm through. Stop boxing break. Step back. Let go. Gunnison did well to hold on there, Box. not give her that space. A stiff jab there from Barlow. Now opens up with a three Look punch combination, then the kick off the back of it. Really impressive stuff in the money round. Goes low with a solid kick too. Gunnison now every time just having her work smothered and muffled by the Ooh. work and that elbow got through. Almost like a right hand that then followed through with the elbow, Dave. You can see that uh, Gunnison just running out of steam a little bit and, and uh, Barlow just growing in power and strength. Oh, stiff jab there. Gunnison keeps coming back. Worth noting, Dave, Gunnison, nine to five, is a social worker in Sweden. So to be doing that and training at this level and competing at this level, seriously impressive. Yeah, it's a sad fact that most Thai boxers, I'd say, have to have a day job. There's not the money in the sport that warrants being a full-time fighter. So you can be at the top of your game and still have to work. Even the top, top level people often have to PT or do something to bring some extra cash in. Sponsorship just isn't there as there is in MMA or boxing. Lovely body kick there from Barlow. Look at the effect it had on her opponent, firing her across the ring. Oh, nice high kick there from Barlow with just over half a minute to go in the penultimate round. Low kick to the inside of the leg of Gunnison, then the jab, then the knee. She's really cranking it up. Just gonna just muscle her over here, look. Knee the back. Full control. Iman Barlow not in cruise control. That would be doing her a disservice. She's putting the throttle down here. Showing sheer strength. Box. 
wasting no time to get straight back on her. Iman Barlow there firing on all cylinders and in control as far as we can see through round four. You can see there, just as she uh, downed her opponent, as she's getting back up, she just uses that little opportunity to take a peek over to her dad in her corner just to see what the instruction was. Shows the level of professionalism. Take a little tip while she's coming back into it. That was an elbow there. You saw the right elbow over the other side of the ring from us. Beautiful left body kicks. Look at them shooting her opponent over. Well, look for a moment there as if Gunnison might fold, but she stood firm and credit. with every shot just as they come above the commentary station here you can hear the power going into these shots well Gunnison may have had a, a real talking to in her corner so this is your opportunity for a world title don't forget that you may be behind but it's not over and we know many fights that have shown us evidence of that so she will still have the bit between her teeth and as long as there's belief there is danger for Iman Barlow but she marauds forward again into the clinch this time once more. Again, just popping her arm underneath to lift the, the left arm of Gunnison to throw the knee clean against the rib cage. As she's done so well this entire fight. Fires that elbow through the gap Ooh. and then the right elbow off the back of it. How'd that land from here? Yeah, right by our commentary position at ringside. And lovely turn and knee there from Barlow. Gunnison responds with a couple of her own. There's just not quite the sting in them. You can hear the, hear the impact every time Barlow lands. That little turn to take the back and knee the kidney. Superb work there from Barlow. But to be fair to Gunnison, she is tough because Barlow can't finish her. I wonder if one of those knees just landed to the head there on the turn. David was slightly obscured from our vision, but I heard the crowd just booing. Oh, well, the referee it stopped it. I'm sure the good, he can see something in the eyes of Gunnison, but I think he almost indicated the gap between them was too, too much, and actually yeah. it was just delaying the inevitable. Perhaps a, a bit of a, a saviour there for Gunnison, who will be disappointed, but actually I think when she watches the contest back, she'll know she was a long, long way behind. Yeah, she, really was not gonna, she wasn't going to take the win, so sometimes for the fight of safety, it's important to protect them. Whether it's sunk in or not, the lady on your screen there has become a world champion again. This time the Muay Thai Grand Prix Series, Iman Barlow, and she's created a little bit of history here by becoming the first woman to do so here in London. And I tell you, she's going to take some beating in this weight division. Terrific moment for her. Fabulous way to tee up the main event just moments away. And this has been a main event in itself, but we will now go to our Master of Ceremonies ringside, Peter Lowe, for the official announcement. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both of these ladies, please. And after one minute and 43 seconds completed, of the fifth and final round, your referee, Mr. Sean Boland, has stopped the contest, teaming Therese Gunnison in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner at the new minus 53.5 kilogram Muay Thai Grand Prix world champion, Imam, the pretty killer, Bolo. And show your appreciation for our runner-up, Therese the Gun Gunnison!
Don Barlow, the new world champion. How does it feel? Amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, I feel like, you know, I've been everywhere, fighting all around the world, and this is where I love the best, so I'm happy to be the champion. Awesome. What do you think won it for you tonight? Uh, I just think maybe my Muay Thai skills, uh, pure, you know, Muay Thai, um, strong in the clinch, strong with the body kicks, and, you know, just overpowered them. Yeah, you were very strong at the end there. Uh, can we just have a look at your T-shirt tonight for Jordan Cove? Is it true you wanted to dedicate this fight to him tonight? We're just going to have a minute silence. Sadly, Jordan passed away recently in Thailand. We're just going to have a minute silence just to pay our respects to him. Jordan was a, a good friend of mine, um, you know, obviously he was really young and he uh, lived in Thailand for three years doing what he loved and he followed his dreams, so, you know, I, I know I would have made him proud and happy and uh, we all support each other, so, yeah. Thank you very much. The world champion, Iman Barlow.